All right, so this episode of Tact OP was so good, bro. We kind of got an understanding of what was really going on. So it wasn't Orpheus who was the true mastermind behind it. It really was Sagan. Sagan was the true mastermind behind all of it, but he had his reasons. He was tired of the planet suffering. You know, this sounds like the super duper ultra mega cliche ending that a lot of anime go for. Well, a lot of just a lot of stories go for in general. You know, they can't the antagonist can't bear to see the planet suffer. Shout out Sephiroth for that line. I just realized I said that. So they want to make the planet right. And in doing that, he was going to sacrifice the entire continent, lead them to all one place. And that's what the whole bell toll thing was for, right? He was trying to lead them to all different, to one singular place. He was trying to get all the D2s to follow to one place. And that was the New York Symphonica. And he was going to sacrifice all of the United States in order to make his dream come true. And Orpheus, or should I say heaven and hell, we'll just go with it from there. They couldn't bear to watch Sagan be in despair. You could see it in their face watching him cry. They couldn't take it. So they decided to, you know what? Fuck it. We'll fuse together and we will make sure that Sagan's vision comes true no matter what. But here we got Tack getting all gangsta on him. And I was like, you, this was hard. I like that. I like that. And the battle sequence between Orpheus and Destiny would seem like it would be lackluster because they kept cutting out. Every time they cut back in, they were exchanging blows like crazy. I thought that shit was cool as hell. But what really struck me was the scene where destiny kissed uh she kissed tack it wasn't the kiss it was the emotion that went along with it so was cassette really gone was cassette really gone ever gone in the first place or was she pretending because let's be honest i don't think that was destiny's emotions because obviously she's in cassette's body i feel like at that moment cassette took over because if we pan right if we pan all the way to the end of the episode where it seems Seems like Anna and Destiny are able to become one, right? They're able to merge, almost like heaven and hell did. It's almost like, you know, they can become one person because that's what they made it seem like. That's the image that they gave off at the end that they're able to become one. She said, let's go, Cassette. As in, you know, Cassette is still there. This episode was too intriguing for a lot of what was happening. And my homie Grey Rook brought it up even in the last episode. Was it the last episode or the last video or the video before that that they're making it so that we pick up when Tact wakes up for the mobile game because we've seen Anna. She is now a conductor, but not only just a conductor, she can transform. That's what, again, I'm relegating back to what I said multiple times in this video at the transformation it seems so flawless and seamless the visual they're giving off is that she can use that little medallion that destiny left to transform almost like a mighty Morphin power ranger type deal i thought that was very very clever and i thought it was cool because i'm gonna be honest this has me anticipating the mobile game a lot i really 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 cannot wait to play the mobile game i think the mobile game is going to be fun i already seen a lot of the visuals for the mobile game and that's something that we're probably gonna have to play on stream along with the Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade mobile game which is something that we're gonna take quite serious and that's one of the things that I hope can propel our Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash Damo Senpai TV to the next level. I'm always try looking for a way to get to the next level in regards to content creation so we definitely need to keep looking and keep striving but that's that's for another video. Tact almost dying? He's now in cryo sleep because remember we talked about it in the previous video that charlotte was like yo you have to get him into cryo sleep he doesn't have that much longer to live we need to do something and we can obviously tell that anna has a lot on her mind at the end specifically because she said i have to do something charlotte was like you know we tried to get you to take a break we told you you could take a break until things blow over but she can't because she wants to do something she wants to be able to have something for when tact wakes up she doesn't want to sit around and do absolutely nothing nothing and just wait again the love 
the love that was spread throughout this entire anime just you know and just love in general love for music love for people the emotions that this season evoked was absolutely insane and not to mention not to mention madhouse and mappa together they should never allow such beauty to manifest ever again i'm kidding right i'm totally kidding i'm being very very sarcastic when i say this this was one of the most beautiful anime i've ever seen animation wise storyboard wise it was so good and seeing mappa and madhouse together really gives me hope moving forward towards the future because you never know what we're gonna see there's so many other possibilities so many twists and turns that could be taken i cannot believe just how beautiful of a creation tactic OP was and you know there was some money uh, there was obviously some money behind that but again that's for a different day if they can achieve this working together there's no telling what any other studio can achieve by just assembling the avengers of your studios and being like this is what we do you're relegated to this because we know you're good at this you're relegated to that because we know you're good at that and we are getting hella paid so let's actually make something gorgeous because when you're getting paid by a mobile game company that means there's a lot of bread backing the product you are about to put out and bro like like I said, I can't wait for what's to come. I'm sad that Tactop is over. I really hope that someday we'll get more of it because I want to see what happens in the future. You know, I want to see Tact wake up. I want to see if he's going to wake up in time, see Anna once again as her younger self because we don't know how long cryo sleep is going to last. We don't know how long it's going to take for Charlotte to find a cure. We don't even know if it's going to be Charlotte that finds the cure. It may take a hundred years for this cure to be found, but when it is found, let me tell you it is going to be awesome because the future is bright for tact op future is bright for the mobile game so that's really all i have for today if you're new to the channel and have yet to subscribe make sure you go down below hit the link in the description or the red subscribe button either one to help me towards that cause of reaching my goal which is to become a full-time content creator things are going pretty solid over on twitch not what i would hope it to be but it's what i want it to be and we're going to continue to grind no matter what y'all keep supporting me i'll keep dropping videos i'll keep dropping streams every day it's looking really 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 sick but as always it's your boy damo senpai and i will see you guys in the next video